Convincing your parents to get a cat is not just a one-step process, but involves showing maturity, responsibility, and that you know what you're getting into. Equally, you need to show that you are serious and dedicated to looking after a pet for several years to come and have the time, desire, and commitment to meet your cat's needs. There are many reasons why some parents may not want a cat. It could be a previous bad experience, it could be misunderstanding what is involved, or it could even be due to something like allergies. Whether you are ever able to get a cat will ultimately be up to your parents, and there is only so much that you can do to convince them that it is a good idea and one that will benefit the family. That being said, with patience and perseverance, your parents will soon know how much you want one and how dedicated you are, which both are important factors when taking care of them. You must make sure that you understand that getting a cat is a long-term commitment and that you can't just get bored of having one after a couple of months or even years. Having a cat is huge responsibility for years and years to come. Let us now take a closer look at what's involved with getting a cat. We will be looking at a good age to get one, the reasons why getting a cat is a good idea, and some practical strategies that will help you to talk to and convince your parents. So, be sure to keep reading to the end to get all the tips and tricks you may need. The best age to get a cat will depend on the family, the cat, and will be down to personal preference. However, there are a few general rules that can help first-time cat owners understand when it is a suitable time to bring one into the home. Firstly, if there are any children under the age of six in your home, then it is recommended that you get a cat that is at least slash or over two years old. Children under six years old can be rough with kittens and accidentally hurt them, causing fear, serious injuries, and in worst cases, even death. So, if you have younger siblings in the house, you may want to look at getting an older cat. Other than this, the age for which you may want to start talking to your parents about owning a cat really is up to you. People mature at all different ages, so one 10-year-old may be ready for a cat while another one may not be. So long as you are committed to looking after a cat, know how to take care of them properly, and are able to treat them with the respect they need, then you can look to ask your parents about getting one. There are so many good reasons to have a cat, more than I could ever list here. But we'll start with my top 10. As a bonus reason that doesn't need much explaining, cats are just awesome. Relatively low maintenance. Compared to dogs, for example, cats are very low maintenance. They don't need to be walked multiple times a day. The only training you really need to worry about is house training, and you can leave them alone with plenty of food and water for a couple of days. Quiet. Cats are often very quiet, and actually many owners will put bells on them just so they can hear them. A cat's meow is a lot quieter than a dog's bark and their footsteps are much quieter as well. Long lifespan. When we have a pet like a cat or a dog, we want to have them around for a long time as we just fall in love with them. It's not unusual for cats to live well into their teens or 20s. So, if you get a cat, plan on having them around for a very long time. House training. As mentioned above, the only training you'll really need to do with cats is to house train them, and the house training is very easy to do. They can go to the washroom whenever they need, and they won't have to interrupt you in whatever you are doing. There are even some people who are training their cats to use the toilet. Low cost. While you need to buy litter and food regularly, overall, compared with dogs, cats have much lower costs. There are fewer costs that need to go to toys, grooming supplies, and training classes. As well, cats generally eat less than most dogs. Not as needy. Cats are much more independent and less needy than dogs are. Though I'm sure there are some who will disagree to that. Cats do like to be cuddled especially when they want to be cuddled, but they can be left alone. Most dogs don't like to be alone for any length of time and someone has to be around to let them out and to feed them. You can't just leave a bunch of food out for a dog as they'll eat it all at once. Cats don't mind being left alone if you're not there and can even be fine for an entire weekend so long as they have enough food and water set out for them. Lower health risks. It has been proven that cats have a calming effect on people and can help lower some health risk deaths, like heart attack and stroke, by up to 30%. They also help with less risky health benefits such as lowering stress and anxiety by petting them. If you live alone, just having another heartbeat in the house will help have a calming effect. Pest control. Cats are great at keeping mice away. 
Whether you live in the country by farmers' fields or in the suburbs, you can have mice around and cats will help keep the population under control, especially the ones that may try to get inside. They are a great deterrent for bugs and other rodents and unwanted pests as well. Allergy control. While this one may not be one of the first reasons you think of, it can be one that helps for life. Children under one who are exposed to cats grow up with less allergies of all types, including environmental. So, as you can see, there are several great reasons to have a cat as a pet, especially if you need to choose between a cat and a dog. Think about the reasons above when talking to your parents and mention them. Better yet, show them this article and let them read for themselves. There are generally several things that you need to do before convincing your parents to get a cat, if they are not sure. The biggest one is showing them that you are responsible enough to take care of a cat. You need to do more than to just tell them that you are responsible, you need to actually show them. If you have chores, ensure that you always get your chores done on time, without any prompting or complaining. Ask if you can help with other things around the house such as dinner or helping your younger siblings to get ready. Your parents will love to see that you are showing initiative and are able to do things without being told. Do your research on cats, different breeds, what they need, and what their body language says. You need to know exactly what you're getting into and let your parents know that you've done your homework. Beyond this, make sure that you are looking after and taking very good care of any other pets you may have or animals. If you have a hamster, for example, show your parents how responsible you are for looking after them. Ask your parents questions about your current pets, like how to clean them out, what you need to do, how much they cost to own, etc. This will help show them a level of maturity and that you respect what is involved with keeping a pet. Additionally, whenever you see a cat in the neighborhood or a friend or family's dog, pet them and show your parents you can behave well around them. Start slow when talking to your parents about getting a cat. Get a feel for how they feel about having a cat or any pet in the house. If they're not sure, it will be easier to convince them than if they say no to begin with. Start to mention some of the above reasons why cats are good to have. If they give you any reasons why they do not want one, Think about some suitable responses to those concerns. They may have some misconceptions about cats that with a little bit of knowledge and research makes them much more enthusiastic about getting one. Do up a presentation for your parents showing them about the research you did, the responsibility you are ready for, that you understand the needs of a cat, and what you plan on doing if you have other siblings, especially ones under six. Be sure to mention the benefits of owning a cat and how nice it will be to have some companionship and something to cuddle in front of the TV. You can also involve your parents while researching. This will help them to feel included in the idea and not forced into getting something they do not want. It can get them excited too and far more likely to say yes. Another factor you may want to bring up is what you plan on doing with the cat when it comes time for you to move out. Picking up a part-time job to help pay for the cat's expenses will show your parents that you are serious. And they may also have extra chores for you so that you can earn even more money. In addition, without even being asked, start helping out more around the house to show that the additional tasks of having a cat won't be an issue for you. Lastly, be patient and understanding with your parents. It is a big commitment, and they may not say yes right away. So long as you show over time that you still wish to have a cat, they are far more likely to come around to the idea.